Going live, me a going live. Live in a me garden, live, me a going live. Live in a me garden, live, me a going live. Going live, me a going live. Going live, me a going live. Live in a me garden, oh, me a going live. Life in a me garden, oh, me a going live. Big up on yourself, big up on yourself. Me a water, me sunshono, me garden, yeah, my garden. But I have some things that I have to water right as a first. And I need your help. I need your help. Official Jamie, good afternoon to you, girl. Guys, let me just tell you now. Pray for me. Because it's almost like I take a break from YouTube somewhat. With most of the menus and the recipes. You know, I still a struggle. You know, it's like, you know, when everything has an anti-climax and it's like a day of day. And then I'm not good with the shorts, the transition to me. You know, like how them man, they, I edit up them video and I make them video look nice. Those highly edited recipe videos, I can't compete. And so it's been a little bit despondent on my side. But otherwise from that, we're doing the best we can. Big up on yourself. All those who just joining us, type in at the chat room, let me know today, you know, please and thanks. I see some folks on, but I don't see anybody other than official Jamia saying hello. Please type in my chat room so that I can respectfully give on a, a big up. And then we get into the meat of the matter. Can you say hello so that I see you and Bigs big on up? Bigs on up. That's what I want to do. See Uno Alls and Bigs Uno Up. Right? So please, just indicate in the chat room, say, it is I. Yes. But we are here, and guys, I wanted to give you guys an update because I've been spending most of my time in my backyard. I have been so preoccupied with this, with this um, garden that I, that I started that everything that I do now is surrounded by the garden. Marcia Clark, good afternoon to you. Blessings to you. Thank you for being obedient and letting me know that you are here because you are here. Hold on, the woods are tangled up. The woods are tangled up. Morning. I, I made a post and I said this morning on one of my, my something. Step to a different level. There's always blockages and hindrances always every time you want to do something good there's always something blocking you no matter what level of life you are on you know i started this garden and now me have to fight rabbit me have to fight bird me have to fight lizard oh my lord by the way the mango tree is doing very nicely lorraine blessings to you donna good evening blessings to you Big up on yourself. Thank you so much for coming over here on this impromptu live. It's been all that way impromptu from the other day. Just came off my radio program and I said before night come down, my off the water, the garden. Because all of a sudden I'm on garden. And so that's what I'm here doing. And I want to show you guys a little bit of it. So you guys can see a little bit of what I am doing here. Hopefully it makes a little bit more sense once you see it. All right, so this is my backyard, guys. Many of you have seen it before, maybe from different angles. All right, my garden consists of vegetables that I have planted in my backyard close to, um, let me see, yeah, close to, you know, trees. This is, this is my first patch of tomatoes and I'm hoping you can see how them look, Lorraine? How the tomato them look? Yes, the tomatoes are coming up nicely. See some big one underneath there. You know, some big ones are, are hidden. Yeah. And so, I just saw the space. 
I saw the space under the, the mango tree and decided that it would make sense. To make some nice tomatoes right here, over here. So, look on the big side, big tomato, firm and nice. Yeah, so that's my first look at here. Let me show you what's going on with my mango tree. See, the mango tree, this is the first time it is bearing. So, I'm not actually expecting much from it. And I don't know the mango them all sort of one look jewelish. I don't know what kind of mango them are, man. What kind of mango these guys? I don't know what kind of mango these are. But couple them on it, and I pray to the Lord. So the Lord will leave them and make them, um, the trees will not, them not blow off and stuff. So that's the first little garden area. Then, let's walk over here before I show you the main garden. Over here now we have more tomato tree, tomato seedlings, they are under the, the um, coconut tree. Something from the coconut tree, you know, them white something. What them white something there? I forgot to check that out. I don't know what these white things are. Look, something I try to affect the tree, see there? Anybody know what you can put in, in it to get rid of these white things? I don't know where that come from. Yeah, but here the problem now with me, guys. Morning time when we wake up, uh, look at this eat down today. And I think it's the rabbit that eat off right there, so that one over there, so eat off. I think it's the rabbits. So now me have that fight there. Now I forgot to go Home Depot and buy a fence. Those, this um, banana. I have two bananas there, so. You pass windy March with the mango buds, so they should grow nicely now. Thank you, Donna. So, so the mango them should grow. Now I have these bananas here that I'm also trying to work on. I'm going to put more uh, mulch in it. Not mulch. Um, I'm going to start to use it like a compost thing. Because the bananas, you can put like fruit peels and stuff in there. And it helps grow eggshells and stuff like that. The lizards live under my shed, guys. And every day them come out. I have some Nepalis here. On it, trying to reconnect, guys. Yeah. Here I have Moringa. Then that's June Plum down there, sir. That is June plum. This is moringa right here, so June plum. Then we have two pineapple or um pineapple. And then this is the first um garden that we, we did. Over there we have so it's a ripe pepper. Let me see if I can show now. See there? A scorpion pepper here. That look good though. And one more layer so grow and then I have serrano pepper here so see the next pepper there yeah and that one is just budding and then here this is this is blueberry can I show you guys I've been a little bit berry and something them uh, and then I have yeah so at the more the further I go from the house is the is the less um I have connectivity all right here we have grape grape guys look for my grape my grape come up don't it official jamia says you need to plant the seeds plant her seeds look at official jamia and this grape almost died you know guys this was a dead tree i put out here and then i buy this arbor and yeah me know said this is supposed to be at the top but the way you want straighten up so yeah so yeah, straighten up yeah so like in order i just throw to so yeah so those are my, my little garden areas there so and may i work on it guys i'm working on it overall we have pure sun in this area so it does not get um much water you know the ground is dry it's arid and um, and we have moles under the ground we have moles guys so like for instance if you look there you see the ground like they, they push up the dirt you know moles in in certain areas so my neighbors have sprinkler system and that's why if them lawn looks so nice at the back especially but me now no sprinkler so i'm on my use you know and thing and thing but 
I just felt like I needed to give you guys an update. Over here, I have grapefruit that needs to be planted. I have, this is lime, um, grapefruit, lime, and this is navel orange, red navel orange that I need to plant, but I have to find spacing. Is it that I'm going to take up the whole of my lawn? Or I was thinking of going to the side of the house to plant them along this side of the house. What do you think, guys? I want to tell me what I think. Should I plant them at this side of the house? So these are the... And then I have skellion and fever grass. I have an avocado down there, so... And my potato. So, yeah. I'm a feel proud. I feel real proud of myself. Yeah. I feel like like I did something worth doing. You know, me have a aki. Me have a aki where me have got tend to because it's been there struggling for quite some time. Me have put look a dirty now. Um, yeah, Joshua celebrated his birthday last week, so he, he did he didn't want much, so we just drove out for a little bit and spent some time with him on the road. And I I did a little video from that and went to a nice space nice little space so go ahead and look i still am posting my shorts and i'm posting other other content but my menus and recipes have been paused a little bit until me get myself sort out and my headspace back in the game you know um i'm still cooking honestly but yeah so work with me prayer kid what well, go on brother brother yeah man so that's what i've been showing you guys you know just look updates from my, my thing you know, my local, my local ranch style thing. Let me see if I can put on the phone look a bit and show the look of stuff while I do look a gardening. Yes, hold on, let me go set this up. That's when I can go and watch me. Can go and watch me while I do look a gardening. Turn this around. Yeah. Yeah, big up on yourself, member. Time, more time, I just use this sprinkler, so I got me got set up, you know. See the sprinkler head? Hold on, I'm gonna turn off the pack. I'm gonna wet up myself. Just put on like so, like so. Take it as wrong. Like so, like so. And then hopefully it now wake up the whole place. Now you have to adjust it.
Yeah. And that 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 is it basically, right there. So do a little bit of adjustment and see if we can get the place wet. You know? In the mornings a lot of birds come down and a lot of they they, they are pressuring. You know. Um my neighbor has a bird feeder on his back lawn and because of that whole leap let me tell you say so whole leap of birds come down and for some of them them want them want to come come relax in the garden them want come relax in my flowers bed I mean, i'm not making that happen in the name of jesus they're not gonna do it so it is touch and go but i am happy about what i'm doing and um Hold on there. Me have to adjust as I go along, you know. You know them where they have to adjust as you go along. It's a very delicate and sophisticated process. Only the persons who have skill in adjusting water, something can do this, this type of job. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so, as I said, guys, you know, I am still here and we are making the best of it. I, I hope to be reaping soon from my little garden. I mean, we do have scallions and stuff like that that we pick on a regular daily basis. But for the most part, we are just waiting on our tomatoes to come in and blueberries and the grape, you know. And from there, but I still don't, I still haven't gotten any type of answer from you guys. Where should I plant the citrus? I have grapefruit, lime, and, and navel orange, and I plan to get tangerine and tangerine and um, kumquat. I also want to get kumquat, so hopefully I'll have those. Um, you know, by the way, official Jamie, do you have a plant store or a nursery in your in your neck of the woods? If you don't, I have one, so you can link up and make way. You know there's one close by by me um maybe just about an hour from you that have really really good trees really really good trees as a matter of fact there i featured them on my youtube channel the other day so you can probably stop um look on one of those videos nelson family farms and there's another one in vero beach there's one in vero beach um see what them name again you know it, man. You know it, official Jamie. What them name? See something under the farm. Yeah, on Oslo Road. It's Oslo Road, it's on. So, yeah, I featured them as well. I went there as well. But Nelson have an extensive amount of, of plants. Extensive. And stuff that we actually will, will use. You know, them have Neesberry, June Plum. They have um, Sapodilla. Them have the, 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 the chocolate fruit them have you name it they have about six or seven different types of mangoes they have a uh, yo trust me so what i would love to see is my yard filled with trees i would love to see my, i mean i'm scared of lizards and all of that there's one over my head as i speak men are like lizards men are like snakes there's snakes i've seen a couple of snakes since i've been out here and my neighbors say uh, the snake them it the snake them um the snake them armless me not me not go find out if them armless because me not go pan no snake me not go and like me go rush them and say oh here's a snake let me kill it nope me not doing it me not fight no snake anybody out there will fight snake that's uno that's an uno me not fighting no snake but that's i tell you no straight up big man thing you see me there is there is a black one that big and heavy and him, him run along the fence oh my god 
And when he go towards him, he stop and, and he goes up. He hold up his head so. I can't do many trees because of my well and septic tank. Oh, well, you know what? No, my one, I don't have a well. What we have is um, we have the, the, the drain field at the front, and then I think we're connected to the city. So we don't have a well. So I was also thinking of planting some of the trees in the front yard and thinking that when the trees come to maturity, then neighbors could get orange from it and stuff, you know? Because I mean, I mean like that. But I, I still have to be careful, you know? Still have to be careful. Um, but yeah, I have the whole of this side of the house can, can use, the whole of that side of my yard can use to plant trees. I just haven't decided yet because I honestly was feeling like I would love to have a, a, a tiny home um let me show in our backyard again so i was thinking that this is my shed and i would love if i could put a tiny home in this space right here you get what i say that little space set in at the backyard you know and um the dream is to have my yard right here where i'm standing i would put a proper deck concrete it off a little bit to out maybe out where the the the, the sprinkler head is and then do my barbecuing and them thing that year somewhere in over there mm -hmm. i want mm -hmm. a water feature somewhere over there I, I, or, or maybe to this side in this corner here i would put a water feature like a little fountain or something you know and then i would want a tiny home right there so you know where where we can do airbnb or, or if we have visitors you know so for instance we have people come from foreign and them now uh, inside because of how compacted the space is on the inside then them could have gone at a tiny house one thing makes sense i need a tiller to tiller oh the tiller something yeah that could have worked too so i them look at stuff there that's that i'm that's those are some of the things i'm thinking about as moving forward and hoping that that would make some type of sense in the future you know but what on that note, you know, not, not happened before the time, so we are, we'll make it happen, you know. But once again, guys, as I said before, just giving you an update, I'm proud of my garden, and the reason why I'm proud of my garden, I never planted anything before. I'm a city person, you understand. Know, I moved from Kingston, Jamaica, and I moved to Miami, you know, where you know, plant a Miami. So when I came to this um, location here. I, I thought to myself, it would be nice to have some trees in my yard. The first tree I planted was my mango tree. The first tree, oh, yes, yard is sandy. Well, you're going to need topsoil. That's where you're going to need um, official JMM. We have sand too. It's all sand. Everything here is very sand, pure sand. So what I have to do is I have to, every time I plant, I have to put on topsoil. And the man, the man wanted to sell me some topsoil, but a $300 a yard he wanted for the topsoil and me, me couldn't afford it. I mean, honestly, I can't afford it. So what I do is when Home Depot have them topsoil for sale, I just buy a cover bag, you know, um, for now. But what you have to do is you, you, have to, you have to box in areas, you know, make planter boxes and box in areas where you want to plant and designate those areas and then you soil those areas because if you try to soil the whole yard you're going to spend an arm and a leg and it's just not going to work i have bahai grass and the bahai grass is mixed with weed it's more weed than grass and as soon as it gets sunny the grass goes brown and no matter how you water it it's still brown and then the weeds i tried to get rid of the florida snow and it keep coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, last year, I spent the whole time I pick out snow, Florida snow weed out of the grass. And this year, the Florida weed come, it come back with a vengeance. So, I just do what I can do. You know, keep it, keep it wet as I can and then move on to the, And then the, the snake and the, the this and the that. My wife is in charge of the front yard. And she a try plant flowers. And the flowers, them... Them. I think there is some engine by them some scientific thing going on where them engineer the plant them for dead quick. I mean, no, I mean, that's I said. It just seems like them engineer the plant them for dead quick because you try with the plant them and you know 
now nah work out. So it's just really hard. But let's hope say it, it happen or it happen. You know, so you know say nah knock off me 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 my mango something. My way I flick 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 like I want to knock off my mango something. Mm-hmm. So yeah man, but as I tell you, I'm happy with it. I can't wait to cook one of them to me today. My wife was saying I must pick some of them green and make fried green tomato, but no, I'm not picking them green. I want them as they are. I have some weed I'm feeding in the shed. I have plant food in the shed. I have tomatoes, um, food, tomato food in the shed. I'm going to sprinkle some of that on it tomorrow. And um, for the rest of it is just fight the battle, fight the battle, fight the battle. So guys, if I'm doing good, let me know. If I'm doing good, if I'm doing a good job, let me know. My neighbor has such a beautiful lawn. And I know them said the grass is green up on the other side, but this is ridiculous. You understand? Look over there, sir. Let me show now. Look over my neighbor lawn. Look there. See the rabbit? See the rabbit there, guys? See one little rabbit there? See him? That's that little brown spot right there. Is the rabbit. See him right there, sir? Let me see him. I can go towards him. See him there? And they, they all live they all live under my shed and in that in that in that grassy area. See me? See rabbit there? That little that little movement there is the rabbit. But yeah, look at my neighbor grass. Them always say the grass is always greener on the other side. Yes, my neighbor grass is always green up on the other side. But I'm doing the best I can. Look at my vervian guys. This is vervian bush. Right, there's a vervian with some av um, al aloe vera underneath it. All of this I need to fix up, you know, and nice up and thing and thing. But yeah, big up on yourself and, and thanks for spending a little time with me, you know. I appreciate it, you know. And uh, keep praying for me. May I come with some video. May I promise you, may I come with some banger, some hot video. You understand? Eventually, just keep praying for me. Big up on yourself, yeah. And um, thank you so much, Official Jamia. Official Jamia is crazy with the mukbang, guys. Me see her go out with some something. She eat some food over there. Me I tell you, Official Jamia, big up on yourself. Go follow her if you don't like mukbang and them something there. Big up your daughter, Official Jamia. Enough respect to you. And of course, prayer kid up there. All of the folks watching, enough respect. Big up on yourself. Much love and respect. Yeah? My out, member, my gun, and what are my things there? I want them to know.